modern bookshop project uh, developed in bb.net and ms access basically these books are uh, this project is basically for that bookshop so where uh, user can uh, purchase process books uh, and maintain all the records in the system so once you purchase this project you will get this uh, files this is source code and this is uh, your installation guide project report and synopsis this project use crystal report also for report purpose so once you install visual studio then you have to install uh, crystal report for visual studio okay so you can use uh, latest version of visual studio so i am using visual studio 2017 community edition okay so i will first start with visual studio so on visual studio start then you can just open the project file so just copy this path and you can just open file open project and select the solution file okay so once you open this uh, solution explorer you will get all the files like these are the forms so if you want to change any design or any logo or any customization you can do so the build screen this is the report basically now this is the first screen this is startup screen then this is the login screen this is the main screen okay and all code will just double click and you can see all the coding also okay so once you install visual studio you can download that uh, community edition and you can install after that you have to just uh, download and install crystal report also okay so you can just check here it will show which uh, if you properly install you will get that crystal report also in that list like this one crystal report for dotnet framework so you can download and you can install but you have to install after observe uh, studio installation okay okay so another thing for crystal report you need to create one dsn okay user dsn so user dsn you can create from control panel administrator tools okay so you can just go database export you will get the dsn name e bookshop this is my dsn name so i have to create it first I already created i just control panel then administrator tool then there is a odbc driver 32 bit just go there and this e big shop so i already created so you have to just keep the name and select the path you will get the data in the debug folder path okay so b debug this one that so you have to give the path okay so once everything is set you have to just run the project so this is the main screen okay so you have to first log in to the application okay so you just click on login So now you have to type the password. So password you will get in installation guide. Okay. So basically there is a supplier, then there is a book category, then books. So you have to this is a master. So I will just add a one supplier here first. Who supply book to that uh, our this particular organization? Okay. So the shop. So I will just click on add new. So supplier I don't really come. The supply name. So supply name is Penguin uh, at the same mall, and I will just say please enter city. City will be enter number two. Postal code. this record is created okay this one 
so I want to edit something so I have to just click here and then I have to click on edit button then I have to change that uh, details like say add this to mirror it and save okay. so same way you have to add a book category if you want to add already book category is there suppose you want to add a new category so you can add this one okay. now after that you have to enter books details so I'll add the books. Okay. So I'll just click somewhere. I'll click on add new. Then I give the book name. So book my book name is <coughs> SQL Star. Author name. You can give the author name also. Purchase date. What is the purchase date? 200. What is the sale date? 250. Category. Book categories programming. Supplier. Penguin. And then click save. So new book is added. Okay. Now once this is done, so you, have, you can sell this uh, book to that uh, particular customer. Okay. So you can add customer also. Or in transaction directly you can select like purchase now once you book it you have to purchase the book also so i have to purchase first plus then supplier name the supply is penguin okay so whatever books this particular supplier have it will show here sql server how many quantity i will purchase i will purchase 10 quantity of book okay so rate automatically calculate now sir so this record will set so once you purchase this book then you, only you can sell this okay so suppose i want to find the customer i don't know the customer name so first i will add this and i have to this is a customer name so i will to use this customer this is the date of the selling date plus now which book you want to sell like sql server i have 10 quantity suppose i get 11 quantity it will show message because i have only 10 quantity So I can sell five quantity. So I can add another product also if I want. So I will can click on plus sign. I will give another product. Say dot net programming. Say one. This is okay. Now then I have to click on sell. Let us have successfully. Okay. Suppose I want to print this bill. So I have to know the bill number. Okay, enter bill. So, bill number six. Let me check your transaction. Report sales registered. What purchase? So whatever purchase it is, I can just click on all, and then it will show in crystal report. So this is the last sale we have done today. 10. Rate 200. Total this is the amount. Okay. Now suppose I have to filter to the particular suppliers. So we can filter also. And that can be printed or can be export to PDF, whatever. Now I want to see that sales register. Okay, customer name. So I want to see all customer name. So this is that two cell is done. One is for that uh, particular book, SQL Server, one for .NET programming. Okay. So the bill number is four. So I want to print this uh, bill. So I can go to the transaction, cell, then I can use search option, click on four, then search, then it will come. Okay. Now I can print also. This transaction I can print. The total amount with the customer, everything is okay. Now, this is the report of stock register. Whatever product we have, we can just find from here. It will show the how, what is the quantity available. Also. Like this .NET programming, another book, 
or whatever the sales price, purchase quantity, sale quantity, available quantity, next page, SQL server. So I have purchased 10 quantity, I have sale 5, so available is 5. Okay, this is the report. So basically this is the, for that uh, any bookshop, they can use this uh, project to purchase, sales, and inventory can maintain. Okay. So once you buy it, you will get this project, and uh, so you can use in your uh, I mean, college project or academic or learning. Even you can use for your shop also. Any customer can use this project. Once you purchase, you will get complete source code. Then this uh, installation guide, project report synopsis, crystal report also there for painting export the report you can use. Okay.